Hey, what up y'all, Nurse David here, and today I'm gonna to show you how I prepare for my interviews. Now, I've interviewed quite a bit lately, quite a lot actually, considering that prior to interviewing, I have been interviewed for maybe eight years because I've been on the same unit, but I feel like I'm really starting to get this down and I wanna share my tips with you guys. Now, personally, I like to have my interviews earlier in the morning, if I can. Usually they'll reach out to me, ask me when do I want to interview, and usually for them, in the morning works best as well. But today, my interview is not until three o'clock which is a little bit of a bummer because it gives me more time to get inside my own head. But my tip would be if you have the choice to try and arrange it for earlier in the day. That way it's less time to psych yourself out. One of the good things about it being at three o'clock though today is that I worked the past two days, so I haven't had too much time to review my questions and my answers and go over my scenarios in my head. So I have that time right now. I have a book here that I've written down questions that they might ask me. I've asked others, what are questions that you've been asked during an interview and wrote them down in here and really tried to get my thoughts down onto paper. That way I can go in there knowing what I'm going to say. And when you're interviewing, you can always kind of manipulate the question that they're asking to something that is relevant to you, something that you know, which will make answering the questions a little bit easier and easier in the sense that you'll already have a story and some way you can make that related to the question that they're asking. I'm not going to telling you to go completely off topic from what they're asking, but I can assure you that your answer that you might have for one question, like here is my sample question and then my answer. This answer could actually apply to several different questions depending on how I spin it. Maybe they're asking me about my experience with training. Well, I could go into this story saying I train a lot of new grads or maybe they're asking my experience with working with others and I can say, well, I train a lot of new grads so I work well with others. So I could take the same story and apply it to different questions. It's just about having those stories implanted in your head. That way you can take it and really bring out the best of what you're trying to say. As for myself, I've done quite a bit of interviews at this point. It's really hard to get into this field that I'm going towards, but I feel like my interviewing skills are getting better and better, and I'm able to write down more questions that I see them commonly asked. That way for next time, I'm able to better answer those questions. So definitely have a notebook with you where you can write down questions that you may expect. My interview today is gonna be online, which the past four or five of my interviews have been online, um, which I personally really like because I have done one in person in front of a panel and it was rather intimidating. So I much rather do it online from the comfort of my own home. Yes, I might have three or four people on this panel interview staring at me on my computer screen, but I feel like I'm really able to kind of block out them looking at me so much and I can focus just by looking into the camera as if I'm just talking with one person. So personally, I really do like that. But if you don't like that, maybe try to get comfortable speaking alone in a room because it seems as though a lot of interviews nowadays are like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed, get showered, put on my best clothes, a uh, shirt and tie, and I wanna make sure that my Microsoft Office is working, my camera is working, my microphone is working prior to the interviewing starting because those are just some 2022 issues that you may face or difficulties and you don't wanna be facing those when you're supposed to be going live with the person that's interviewing you. So you want it to be as seamless as possible. Now I have made one mistake before. I did an interview on a laptop and it was fully charged my laptop, but I didn't realize how fast the battery would drain when I was uh, interviewing, using the camera, using the microphone. The battery just seemed to drain super fast. So in the middle of the interview, I had to pick up my laptop and go and plug it in. And 
it just totally threw me off. I could see that they were kind of smiling. It might have not been a deal breaker, but it does give off the sense that you're not so polished. I've taken a shower and I'm not wearing this obviously to my interview. I'm gonna wear a button up shirt with a tie, but I don't wanna mess up my hair. Um, now I'm gonna show you how I prepare my setup for an online interview, you know, because background plays a big part in when you're interviewing. Now, I don't like doing the green screen because I feel like that's a bit bland, but I definitely don't want them to see all of this that's going on right here. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. Now, as you can see, it's a lot more clean for my background. Very minimalistic, less that's gonna take them away from the actual interview without being, without any interest. So, I mean, I got a little bit of stuff here, but this is just my background. Um, I'm gonna be sitting here and what I like to do is turn on these lights. That way that will give me quite a bit of nice lighting. I'm gonna be interviewing on my Mac, not my laptop. So I don't have to be worrying about it being plugged in and the battery dying, but I'll be on my Mac. Next thing I'm gonna do is gonna load up the software, which we're gonna be interviewing on, making sure that my mic, my camera works well. And I'll show you what they're gonna see when they're looking at me. And this is exactly why I told you, you need to test test this out before your interview because I'm have, having to download the app, that way I can interview on here. It's installing, so if you don't download your software before, it doesn't take long, but uh, better safe than sorry. So this is pretty much roughly what they'll be seeing when I'm interviewing. I'll be sitting down in this chair, kind of like this, and I have my light coming in here. I want all my windows open. I'll open this one up a little bit more. Obviously, I'm not gonna be showing the neon light because that's gonna be very distracting. So I'll turn my computer just slightly. But yeah, it looks clean. I feel like it looks professional. And now I'm ready to interview. I'll just go ahead and get changed real quick. It is the next day from the interview. Um, I actually forgot to record right afterwards, but like I said, I did get all dressed up for the interview and this was a panel interview. So it was the manager and then two other people that were on the nursing informatics team. But overall, I think it went fairly well. The interview was actually around 54 minutes long, which is pretty long. Each person on the team had a scenario behavioral type question for me. Um, none of which were written down in my notes or in my book, but I did have stories from my book that I was able to pull in to answer these questions with. So I really think that that helped me in being prepared, having these scenarios like I talked about already ready. One of the questions that did kind of trip me up though, which is kind of hard for me, is when they were referring to when I first started on the job. And it's hard for me because I've been on my unit for nine years, I started as a nursing assistant and now I'm a nurse and they wanted to kind of know what, how did I present myself when I was a new nurse to show people that I was engaged and ready to partake in um, things within the unit. So this one kind of tripped me up slightly. We kind we got past it, but it really tripped me up because I've been there for so long and I started on the same unit and I explained that and I then transitioned into this role, so everyone pretty much knew what I was capable of. But to speak on how my work ethic was nine years ago was a little bit tricky. I think that is about it. I'll keep you guys updated on the results of this interview, but these are my tips and tricks if you're completing a Zoom or a video conference interview. Make sure you check out one of my other YouTube videos right here, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, bye.